Welcome to another gear tester review. In this video, I'm going to be looking at the Ruger 2245 Lite and comparing it to the Ruger SR22. These are both excellent, accurate, and reliable 22 caliber pistols. I would recommend both of them to you. The Ruger 2245 Lite and the Ruger SR22 have a number of similarities. They are, first of all, both manufactured by Ruger. And some of the same ideas and uh, organization and planning has gone into both of these pistols. They both have a fixed barrel. Uh, the SR22 has a reciprocating slide. Okay, but the barrel itself is fixed. It does not tip up like the Glock barrel. See, this barrel is loose here. Many other semi-automatic handguns, the barrel is loose. The barrel does not tip up on the SR22. It is fixed. That is the same exact case with the Ruger 2245 Lite. This slide, or bolt, reciprocates back and forth here, but the barrel is fixed. And that means that the pistols are very accurate and that same kind of ideology went into both of these pistols. The Ruger 2245 Lite descends from a lineage of uh, Ruger pistols. The original uh, pistol that Ruger began production in 1949 with, that the, mar that the 2245 Lite is based on, was called the Ruger Standard Automatic Pistol. And that uh, was the pistol that started off the entire Ruger company. And the 2245 Lite is the most recent, as of 2013, the most recent incarnation of the Mark I pistol that is what the, the standard automatic pistol was called in 1951, two years after it was first produced. So both these pistols have fixed barrels. They are both lightweight. The 2245 Lite weighs in at 23 ounces, and that is a lightweight gun. The Ruger. SR22 weighs in at, I believe, 17.5 ounces, which means they are both very lightweight pistols. The, the SR22 is slightly lighter, but they are both within a range that I think is very comfortable to carry and to shoot and to, uh, to use on the range, and you could use them for backpacking, camping, and survival. It might be a uh, pistol that you choose to take with you on maybe a, a bag that you have in your vehicle um, to provide some kind of survival tools in a situation where you might need them. Very lightweight, very accurate guns. Uh, the dimensions here on the, I'll close this bolt and uh, or slide there, the, the dimensions on the 2245 light are uh, five and a half feet uh, here five and a half feet what am I saying that would be a giant pistol 5.5 inches from the bottom of the pistol to the top here and um, 8.5 inches long the SR22 is uh, 4.9 inches so it's about half an inch shorter than the 2245 light and it is six points close the slide on this one as well and it is 6.4 inches there. So it's about uh, two inches shorter here and one inch shorter there. So the SR22 is a lighter pistol, but they are both lightweight. They have both have this rigid barrel. Uh, they're both uh, manufactured by Ruger. There are some things, however, that I like about the SR22 better than the 2245 light. And that is uh, as follows. There are three things that I really appreciate about the SR22 over the 2245 light. First of all, the SR22 is very easy to take down. And uh, I'm not going to do that here in this video, but I'll just show you uh, what you would have to do. You just flip this little lever here. All right, you would flip this little level, lever here. I'm going to bring in uh, an individual. This is his pistol. And so he's going to take it down for us here. Just flip that lever, pull the slide back, and then just take it off. Off. 
Now, very easy to take the gun apart and clean. Extremely easy, extremely simple. Uh, and, and that's important to me. The 2245 light is not easy. If you were going to take this pistol down, you would first make sure, of course, that it's not loaded, and then you would pull the trigger with the magazine in it. You would then take the magazine out, and then you would lift this lever, and this uh, whole portion would come out along with that, that portion there, that little black, uh, what looks like a button there, would come out, and you'd be able to release this, the bolts here, and then you'd have to whack it a little bit, pull it hard, and you get the barrel off. We're going to now put the SR-22 back together again. That little slide just goes right in there. Um, not the slide, but the uh, rod there with the spring in it goes in very easily. Uh, we would be here for probably 45 minutes if I was going to show you how I take down and uh, clean the 2245 uh, light. Uh, and I've owned four of the Mark III family of pistols, two 2245 lights, uh, two 2245s, one light, and two Mark III's, and they are all four of them. I found them very difficult to take down. You can do it. It is, it is uh, difficult, though, in comparison to the SR-22. So I like the SR-22 because it is easier to take apart. I also like the SR-22 uh, because it is uh, very nice because it has drop-free magazines. You see that? The magazine pops right out. It's also, uh, it's also ambidextrous, which means that it has all the same controls on both sides, if that's important to you. But I like the fact that I can just drop the magazine, slam the next one in, and load it up. That's another thing that I like about the SR-22 over uh, the uh, 2245 light. Well, you might say, well, duh, don't the magazines drop free on the 2245 light? And that is not the case here. You can see here's the magazine, and you just push that button there, and it does drop out a little bit. But the way the magazine disconnect works in the uh, 2245 light means that the magazine does not drop free. So you're going to have to bring your hand out, pull it up, insert another magazine. Another thing that I do that I like better than on the SR-22 than the 2245 light is the fact that you can do what I call the slingshot move or the slingshot mod, which means that when you put a, a loaded magazine into the gun, uh, the slide is back, I can then come here and strip the next round off by just touching the back of the slide and bringing it forward. That's the way most semi-automatic uh, pistols work. Uh, such as this Glock or MMPs or other uh, kind of military or defensive style handguns. So we're just going to lock the magazine back. You insert your magazine and strip the next round off. And again, you might say, well, isn't that the way the 2245 works? But it is not the way the 2245 works. The Mark III's do allow you to use this slingshot mod, but on the, the 2245 light, if I want to do that, I have to use the... Uh, the slide release there. And so you're stuck using that on the 2245 light. So that's m another reason that I like the SR-22, being able to have those drop-free magazines and then being able to use uh, the slide because it just, for me, is much more ergonomic to drop the next magazine in, come up, whoop. It is much faster, too, on the reloads. It also simulates uh, any number of defensive pistols, which I also am shooting, and it's nice to have that consistency from the 22, uh, the SR-22. Another thing I like about the SR-22 over the 2245, and if you guys are starting to feel like I like the SR-22 uh, better than the uh, 2245 light, that's because I do. I actually own this 2245 light, and if I could switch it for an SR-22 today, I would do that. And that's because of these features that I just think are better on the SR-22. Another thing I like about the SR-22 is the fact that it has three dot sights. I find that these are very easy to acquire. I find that they are easy to line up and that I am faster on target when it comes to shooting uh, the SR-22. Uh, I don't find that to be the case on the 2245. You can see here I've modified my 2245 sights. I put a little white paint here on the back, and I also put a little white paint nail polish there on the front. But uh, it, they are still not as easy or as fast on target as the sights that just come standard with the SR-22. Another thing I like about the SR-22 
over the 2245 light is the fact that it is very, very ergonomic. Uh, this, this, it just fits better in your hand. It is just easier to, to hold the gun. I find that it points better for me. Now that's just, just the way my body interfaces with the, the grip of the SR22 versus the 2245 light. But it, I do like the grip angle better on the SR22 and uh, also the, the ability to just have the more ergonomic grip on the pistol. And I'm able to get a full grip on this, this pistol. You can also uh, switch out the grip uh, here very easily just pull it right off and the grip sleeve comes off and you can put a thinner one on but I find that this larger one works just fine. So I like the ergonomics, uh, the functionality of the SR22 better than the 2245 Lite. I like the fact that the mags drop free. I like the fact that I'm able to use the slingshot mod when I reload it quickly, the slingshot move there. I like the fact that the pistol is easy to take down and clean. I also like the fact that it is more ergonomic, uh, personally, for my my taste. There are some unique things about the SR22 and the way it functions. Uh, when you go into uh, to fire the pistol, safety is, is down and uh, fire is up, and that's very unique to this pistol. And that's because the safety uh, also is a uh, hammer drop. So this pistol, if there was a round in the chamber, would have a very nice little uh, single action trigger pull there. You can simulate that. Oh my goodness, I just dry fired a 22. We'll be okay, we'll survive. Trust me on this, guys. Okay, so we're just gonna release that forward. So if you wanted uh, to make this gun safe, you would just come up, even with a round in the chamber, and you just do this. And that drops the, the hammer safely. The gun's not gonna go off. Now you can flip the safety off again, and you have a double action trigger pull. So that's kind of unique. It's very much like uh, some of the SIG pistols in the way that, that that works, the double action trigger pull and then it's single action as the pistol continues to cycle. So that is a unique feature about the SR22 that's completely different than any other pistol I've seen uh, that, that uses the safety as also a, a hammer drop. So that's going to be something you're going to need to pay attention to. If you're using this gun to practice or to train for a, a defensive situation, it would be wise to, to make sure that you understood how that worked and not practice that effectively if you have a defensive firearm because what you're going to do is you're going to naturally sweep off the safety on most other firearms and that would mean that you could fire and this works exactly opposite so that is something you need to be aware of as you use the SR22 I wish there was a way Ruger had figured out to do that differently but that is the way the pistol works the Ruger 2245 Lite is a good gun. It runs reliably, it is accurate, uh, but I really feel that the SR22 is better, at least for me and my purposes and uses. If you're just going to be using it for a target pistol, probably the 2245 Lite is a great way to go. But if you're planning on carrying it with you, backpacking with it, hiking with it, the lighter weight, the shorter overall dimensions of the SR22 and those other features the ergonomics, the way the gun functions, the ease of cleaning. If those things are important to you, I would recommend the SR22. Thank you so much for your views and your subscriptions. I have a number of other videos uh, on shooting, camping, and survival gear topics up on my channel. If you like this video, go check those out. This is the Gear Tester signing off.